Hey gamers, welcome back to Creative Gamers. What if I told you that you could run the full original Cuphead game with DLC right on your phone? Yep, no cloud streaming, no fake versions. I'm talking about the real deal, running locally on Android, complete with buttery smooth 120 FPS gameplay. In today's video, I'll show you how to transform your mobile phone into a mini gaming machine using the Game Hub emulator, so you can jump, parry, and blast your way through Cuphead's legendary bosses anytime, anywhere. Let's get started. First, you need to install the Game Hub emulator. Once installed, open the app and log in using your Google account. Don't worry, it's 100% safe. The Google login is only used to activate all the emulator features. Once you're logged in, you'll land on the home page. From here, swipe over to the section labeled My. This is where you'll be managing your PC games on the emulator. Next, it's time to import the game. Tap on Import PC Games, then find the .exe file of your Cuphead game. Make sure this is the full version that includes the DLC. Once you select it, the emulator will automatically start installing the required firmware and support files. This process might take a few minutes depending on your device and internet speed. After that's done, you're ready to configure the game. Now go back to the My section, tap the three dots next to the Cuphead game icon, and open Game Settings. In the General Settings section, leave everything as it is, then scroll to Compatibility Settings. Here's what to change. Set Translation, Params, to Fast. If your phone has a Snapdragon processor, choose Turnip Default Driver. If you're using a MediaTek or Helio processor, go with System Driver instead. For the DXVK version, select DXVK VK1.10.3 Async. And for CPU Translator, set it to Box64 V0.32, which is the latest and most stable version. Next, head into the Input Mapping section and turn on Enable Input Mapping. This lets you use on-screen touch controls or even a Bluetooth controller if you want that console experience. Once you've matched all the settings, go back to the My section and tap on the Cuphead icon to launch the game. As soon as the game starts, press the Back button on your phone to bring up the Quick Settings menu. Here you can tweak various settings like Resolution, frame rate limiter, and control layout for the best gameplay experience. And here's the best part. On most good phones, Cuphead runs at 80 to 120 FPS, which is absolutely insane. It feels just like playing on a handheld console. Now, I want to give you a quick warning. If the game doesn't start even after following every single step, don't keep trying random fixes. It just means that your phone doesn't have the hardware power to run the game. But don't worry. I've already made a video about a Cuphead mobile version that works even on low-end phones. The only difference is that it doesn't include the DLC. Other than that, it feels just like the original. Before we wrap up, let's take a second to appreciate this game. Cuphead is a masterpiece, a hand-drawn 1930s-inspired action game with insanely fun boss fights, smooth animations, and a banging jazz soundtrack. The game's been a massive success and even inspired a Netflix series, which just proves how iconic it really is. So that's it. Now you know exactly how to play Cuphead with DLC on mobile using the Game Hub emulator. If this video helped you out, make sure to drop a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more mobile game tutorials. Tutorials. And don't forget to check out that mobile friendly Cuphead version video if your device struggles with this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, happy gaming and good luck beating those crazy bosses.